I'm Randy Siegel and welcome to Glenn Visual Arts in St. Simons, Georgia. We are going to see my show here, Painted Prayers, Prayers During a Pandemic. The show has been extended for two weeks until mid-January, so I decided to do some rehanging and create a show within a show, which you'll see in a bit. As a part of the show, we've done a food drive, and as you can see, we've done quite well. We've gotten a lot of food for Sparrow's Nest, which will help families in the Brunswick, Georgia area. Here are some smaller pieces that are mainly beach scenes. And then two small pieces, one painted cow, and another that's called Born Into Awe, this alcohol on ink. Let's begin the show here. For a while, I did a series of florals, and this one's called Blessings, which is acrylic on canvas. It's 10 by 8. This is called An Instrument of Grace, 20 by 16 unframed. This one's a particular favorite. It's called Felt with the Heart. It's alcohol ink on clayboard. It's 14 by 11. And it was inspired by a quote from Helen Keller, who said, the best and most beautiful things in the world cannot be seen or even touched. They must be felt with the heart. Another favorite, this is called World of Wonder. It's mixed media on campus board, 20 by 16. The one on the top is called Winter Solstice, and it's alcohol ink on board. And the one on the bottom is called Lanier's Marsh, oil-based crayons on board, and it's 12 by 9, unframed. This piece recently sold is called How to Love Flowers. Another floral. I love the title of this one, His Love Roared Louder Than Her Demons. Two smaller ones, Cat and Interim Spaciousness. Here is the artist statement, and in it, I talk about three intentions, gratitude, trust, and service. This piece is called For the Love of Beauty. It's acrylic on canvas, 16 by 20. This piece is a larger piece. It is 36 by 48, and it's entitled after the Greek word for rest, well-being, and harmony. It's inspired from Psalm 107, which says, He maketh the storm calm, so that the waves are still. The next is a larger piece as well. It's called All One, and it was painted after my visit to Africa many years ago. It's 48 by 36. This piece is one of the few oils in the show. It's oil on canvas, and it's called Transfiguration. Next, we have a self-portrait, and it is entitled, In the Shadows. Here are two. The bottom one is called City Reflections. And the top one inspired the show within a show. It's called Prayers During a Pandemic. It's mixed media on a wooden panel. I'm going to come a little closer and notice the writing. We'll talk about that later. Here's another larger piece. This is called Swing. Notice the energy around that swing. 
The bottom one is called Blue Again Like Morning. And the one up above is called Spirit in the Wind. It's inquired, it's inspired by a quote from Jimmy Carter, who says, Spirit like the, is like the wind in that we can't see it, but we can see its effects, which are profound. Now we're ready to take a look at the show within a show. And you'll see that we've got four paintings. Let's begin with the artist statement. I was surprised to learn that there's a word for it, ascetic, or ascetic, excuse me, writing. Ascetic writing is a form of abstracted calligraphy. It's a drawing that resembles writing, but does not employ words, unless they are so damaged we cannot read them. Used by artists and poets around the world, ascetic writing leaves interpretation to the viewer. I've been using ascetic writing in my art for years, for me, it's a form of spirit writing, a way to connect to that small, intuitive voice inside, what some may call the divine self. It's like running barefoot on holy ground. The paintings in this exhibition, within an exhibition, are painted prayers. Most were completed as the world began to celebrate the launch of a new vaccine. The year 2021 holds much hope. May we enter it with renewed, gratitude, faith, and service. This piece is called Manifesto of Love. It's a mixed media on board. Above, this piece is called Points in the Heart. Next, we have a larger piece. Sorry for my shaky hands. By whom, with whom, and in whom. It's mixed media on board. It's 24 by 30. And again, we'll go and take a closer look. I really like the surface on this one. Then our final piece in the exhibit within the exhibit is called Seeing the World Through Rose-Colored Glasses. It's mixed media on canvas. It's 18 by 24 unframed. Well, that's our show. Thank you so much for joining me, and I hope you have a wonderful new year.